Hey everybody, Radamont here. I am trying to stream this on YouTube while I play at the same time. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I am continuing my Sea Ice Community Challenge. I'm getting the map loaded up here. Uh, so this will be... What number am I up to now? Let's see. Let's figure that out before we continue. I am up to 11. That is... Pretty good progress, I'd have to say. So here we are, the beautiful map. Uh, last episode, um, not all that much had happened, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we just, you know, cleaned up some raids, uh, continued building, tried to release some of the prisoners from our little prison. There was certainly a lot of bodies out there. Uh, that is, you know... Uh, something to definitely to, to figure out and clean up. Uh, one of the things I need to do is to install some better uh, heating in this base. That taking priority over the multi-analyzer. The multi-analyzer uh, isn't nearly as important as, uh, as you know, growing and planting. Um, so, yeah, I haven't done any uh, YouTube streaming before, so we'll see how this goes. Um... So first thing I want to get accomplished here is maybe haul the rest of the chem fuel and start bringing in the slag. But I do have to worry about the mental state of my uh, colonists. Doc is not doing so well, um, but it is not... Actually, you know what? Maybe with a toque, it's... Doc will be warm enough uh, without clothing. Uh, let me see. That is the first thing I'll check. So I'm having Doc strip off all the gear. Uh, and the temperature range is fine because of this uh, Mega Sloth Wool Toque. Um, now one thing I do have to make sure is that Doc does not stay outside of the base. So let's change that uh, movement restriction. There we go. Um, I do have to replace some of these walls here. Uh, I can do it in Slate for two segments. So here we go. There's some slate segments there. Uh, that's pretty much all the slate I have, though. Um, last episode, I was creating a roof zone. A really small roof zone, but a roof zone around my base. I'll continue to do that with NG. Um, I believe there are some people in chat saying that uh, it hasn't loaded yet. It's just a delay. Uh, I believe. And if it's not a delay, this will become its own uploaded episode, you know, with recordings and all that eventually. So I'm sorry if the stream doesn't work out that well. So we've got Doc here making sure no hypothermia. That's good. I'm going to expand a plow zone around the perimeter of the base. And the reason for this is so that I can get around the perimeter a little bit more quickly. Um, now, of course, it would be a lot faster if I had... Uh, yeah, it would be a lot faster if I had some uh, flooring or something, but God knows I don't have that kind of resource on me. Uh, nor will I for, for quite some time, I suspect. So, just doing what I can. So, creating the rest of this roof here. Not interesting, but necessary. Alright. That's... That's about all I need to do. And I'm not going to worry about the, um, the shoveling yet. If she wants to shovel, she can shovel, but I suspect, uh, that isn't really high on the priority list, and I'm not going to force it. All right. And everyone's back asleep. Sleep in the cold. It is a horrible negative t uh, 5 to 10 centigrade or Celsius inside. 
That is not toasty. Very not toasty. Uh, but that's because it's negative 144 outside, which amounts to, let's see, one, uh, negative 227 Fahrenheit. Um, we are in the middle of the winter, so this is pretty much the worst it's ever going to be, which is stupidly cold. All right, so I have 40 of my required slag. I'm going to have NG continue the slag hunt. She'll be hauling herself. Um, Doc, I'm actually going to put back on to hauling. So let's lift the restriction and make sure the work order is haul, which it is. I should clean up some of these bodies, but I really want the extra heater. Uh, it, the extra heater is probably not truthfully going to allow me to um, farm anyway, but uh, the extra metal should help. So, because I am... Video output is low. All right, so you guys are experiencing buffering, I think. I think that's probably because I'm recording and streaming at the same time. Something I can uh, remedy later. I won't do it like that. Now they're just grabbing slag, and these last two pieces of slag will put me over the top um, in order to, to in order to create this heater. Their moods are holding up, which is good. Alright, let's get this heater going. No need to sleep in the in the cold or super cold anymore. Set it to twenty C. It's helping, but not quite enough. As you can see, it's it's uh a little boost, but not the boost I needed. <laughs> Remy and I just saw your, your comments there. Yeah, I actually published an ice sheet. Uh, this is actually a further episode. There's one more episode I've yet to publish. Um, I was just going to sit on that episode for tomorrow. Uh, so this is one episode further. Uh, I do have... Um, uh, what is it? The last episode, just in queue, uh, nine... And actually, I've already recorded 10 as well. So I'm recording 11 right now. So you guys haven't seen 9 and 10. So the base looks probably significant, significantly different to you than it, it did. Uh, I will be publishing um, uh, 9 and 10 in tomorrow and the next day. Uh, and I'm just recording this. But I wanted to mess around with YouTube uh, live streaming. Um, just to see if that is a, something to be done you know, in the future for challenges and whatnot. So I've got NG hauling the, the weed, the smoke leaf, and Doc is back on hauling the steel uh, slags. Um, Doc still has tattered clothing, unfortunately, and all of the good insulating clothing that I've been taking off bodies are uh, from dead people. So that's um, certainly of no, no assistance. <laughs> I do have... Uh, 
some muffalo wool, but I'm 50 short of being able to make a parka out of it. Plus, you know, of course, I don't have the steel for a uh, tailoring bench. I think hand tailor only requires wood, so I could actually create a hand tailor. Um, but a uh, electric tailor is, is a bit outside my price range at the moment. Alright, I'm just going to continue to let them haul slag. Uh, there is a lot of slag out here on the map. And I'm going to let them haul until their mood changes. Uh, I need to make sure that they're not uh, having any mood issues. And, and she got the plague. Alright. So let's, I'll be giving her um, herbal for this. I do have regular medicine, but herbal is plenty good. Um, so I'm going to restrict Doc to house only and put NG, I'll let her feed herself and smoke some smoke leaf. And then I'm going to put her on mandatory bed rest. I don't want to mess around with plague. Unless I absolutely need to get up for some reason. So now they're both restricted to the zone. Doc, when she's done smoking, I will have her... Jesus, she's taking a while. I'm going to have her treat NG. And let's see. So we've got immunity at 40%, plague at 50 So I do have to outrace this. I think this bed here increases immunity gain factor, so that that's definitely helpful. And the bedroom is not frigid like it; it's not in the negatives. Um, um, so it's a little bit, you know, it's flirting with freezing, but it's it's not. Uh, quite as bad as it once was. Now it looks to me like Doc did not finish... Nope. Did not finish the smoke leaf, just left it there. Let's check the progress. So now immunity is almost 50%. Plague is going up still. I think I will, just to make sure I... I don't die of plague. I will give Glitter World for a next uh, medication. Um, just as a safety precaution. So I'll be keeping an eye on this in two hours. And an electrical fault down there. Well, you see, I can't really deal with that at the moment. Engie's life is a bit more important. Fortunately, uh, I haven't needed the backup batteries yet, but I'm going to flick them on just in case. Alright, so there we go. That should help. I'm going to now set Doc up to go deal with that fire. I don't know. I haven't looked yet what the condition of that fire is. There might not be anything I can do, but I gotta lift the restrictions on Doc. I'm gonna have Doc flick one of the backup batteries on, just in case I don't run out. And it does look like this fire is sort of taking care of itself. Um, I just don't want it burning the line all the way back, so I'm going to give it a little help and put it out manually. Alright, that's enough, and now I'm going to restrict Doc again. Get back inside. I don't want to miss uh, a medication round. So, we are at Plague... 68 with immunity 62. I'm actually going to keep administering Glitter World just because I didn't immediately put her on bed rest and uh, I really need that immunity to outpace the severity of the, the disease. Um,
All right, so the backup batteries have helped. As you can see, I've been draining from it uh, a bit. Ooh. All right, so I am outpacing it, as you can see. I'm tied now for the severity of the plague and the immunity. So I'm going to put it back on herbal medicine. Or actually, I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to put it on Glitter World and immediately treat. No sense in losing my main colonist due to a lack of treatment. So now, as you can see, that immunity is really climbing above the severity of the plague. So I should be fine. Uh, the real worry is if anything bad happens that requires my doc to go to war or something. Um, there isn't anyone taking care of Angie back at base. That and, you know, I'm not really making any power right now. So I really hope wind kicks up, which it looks like it is for me. That's pretty sweet. Wind power is much more useful than solar, but at least solar can be counted on more in the summer months, but can be counted on. All right, so we're at 85, 86 immunity. We're doing all right. It's about to be extreme plague, but you don't die until 100%, so I've got that one for me. Certainly didn't get any smelting done, though. And I have a raid. Uh, isn't that lovely? Luckily, it is so unbelievably cold that I think the raid is going to kill itself before it really poses any significant threat to me. Um, but not to flirt with danger, I'm going to uh, get Doc to flick that on. Uh, I think NG has my assault rifle, so I'm going to get her to drop it and Doc to pick it up. I'm going to check when NG, NG already needs plague meds now, so I'm going to treat NG to some plague meds. Check on how close. Oh, they're preparing to come to me. Oh, man. All right. I, I probably honestly don't even, I don't even need to do anything to kill off this raid because they're not attacking me immediately, uh, I highly doubt they're ever getting here. MG is almost back on the mend. 93%. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they... Yep. As I suspe suspected, they all just killed over and died. They never made it to me. Because... Um, yes. Because it is so cold... There is no chance of surviving this zone for very long. Engie here is just about done with her plague, which is good. I think that little world medicine was probably pretty necessary. I didn't have her go straight to sleep, which was uh, a wee bit of a gamble, um, but now she's fine. She's already on her feet. Um, look at that. After all that plague. Alright. Uh, but I'd rather have her smelting rather than fixing that little conduit. Alright. Doc wants to haul bodies. I'm going to have her haul the weapons while she hauls the bodies. Uh, NG I'm going to restrict on home duty so that she can smelt. Doc, I'm going to have... I don't think they're going to send me raid back-to-back, -back, so I'm going to have Doc drop weapons and start hauling bodies uh, the slow and old-fashioned way.
All right, so now Doc is um, grabbing their weapons while she she hauls them. So let's get them buried. And she's getting through the slag. Uh, let's bury the closest bodies first. Wow, that bow is honestly not even pick, worth picking up. These bodies have been here a while. Um, they've been laying here quite some time, so uh, the weapons have almost fully degraded. Maybe I'll just stop bothering with these weapons altogether. They'll yield me like a dollar or two, but in the big scheme of things of me having seven grand, that's uh, quite honestly not very much. Fortunately, the clothing that they're wearing is in better condition than uh, anything else. Oh, NG, I made you sleep on the floor. I am sorry about that. Alright, so there's a whole lot of bodies back there, and I think these bodies are, um, yeah, these weapons and bodies are, uh, newer, so I'm gonna focus on them instead. Uh, I'm gonna try to, no, I'm not gonna grow. I'm actually gonna wait it out. I do have a little bit of food left, and maybe I should try to grow. Now, the trouble is, the temperature is not warm really enough for good growth. But, uh, it's just what we gotta do. So, I'm gonna queue up a little cooking again. There's only a few more meals I have left. I didn't want him to bury it. I would like you to haul first. Strip. Drop your weapon. And then bury. An escape pod of someone that will never see the light of day. Alright, so for Doc, her mood is wavering. I'm going to put her back on research. And once she's inside, I can uh, have her st strip down a little. So she's back to researching, and she'll be nice and happy. Just did IEDs. Um, transport pod, I suppose. Not super high on my list, because there's nowhere to go. There's no... Um, there's no zone near me that is any more interesting than my current zone. And a heater broke down. Uh, so for now... Actually, I'm going to leave that heated. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get to make use of it. I doubt it. But the electricity drawing of one heater doesn't uh, immediately concern me. But since I do, I am running into a bit of a um, electrical problem. I will make sure to try to flick off the lights and everything as best I can. I don't want to run into a, an issue with uh, lack of electricity. Haul them too. Next, I think I need to worry about uh, Engie's mood. She is not the happiest 
colonist in the bunch. Um, she likes to craft. I don't really have anything to craft and construct and cook. There's really not much I can do for her mood-wise, but let her sleep. So I'll let her do that. She'll be a little bit better when the plague disappears. Uh, it's slow going. Ooh, and this strong wind. Alright, so I have a reporter here who uh, is just going to die, I suppose. I'm going to try to strip them before they die. Let's see, will I make it there in time? Yes. And unrestricting so I can start hauling. Now one thing I really wish you could do is uh, uh, break down clothing. So I'll break down all this synth thread and then make my own synth thread stuff. But uh, that is not a feature that's in the game, but I wish it was. So the wind stopped blowing so hard. Um, which is unfortunate. Alright, I really should have turned my grow light on already, but it's not too late in the day. I can do it. Get some growing going. This is my second to last meal. A little sketchy. I do have oodles and oodles of human meat, but um, I'm not eager to start the cannibalism process, so I'm not uh, not planning anything like that. Haul them first. whole lot of people to be buried. In fact, there are so many people to be buried because I've been attacked by populist tribes. I'm not even perfectly sure that I will be able to get all of it done uh, before they rot away because I only have two arms and tribal weapons and stuff aren't um, aren't that profitable, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's a lot of junk, really. Um, So at some point, maybe when I get rid of all the uh, closest corpses, I will just then disallow the rest. Um, Alright, so for Doc, I'm going to restrict her again, put her back on research. I think I just uh, straight up buried that tribal, but whatever. I'm not going to dig through graves to figure out which one it was. Um, Alright, plants are tired, sleeping now. Whatever you want to call it. Doc. Oh, you. Uh. Yeah, I don't need her wearing any of her stuff. She could drop it all. Let's see, what are the better pants? So, these are the better pants. And the the muffalo shirt is better, but um, it's in worse condition. So I'm actually gonna have I'm gonna haul the the shirt back. Uh, what is Enji doing? You're burying more people. That's very noble of you. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, 
Alright, so strip and bury. Filling up my uh, my graveyard. I didn't think it would fill up quite so quick. I'm going to queue up the light to be flicked as soon as Daka rises, which should be pretty soon. I'm going to keep Doc inside for research. Uh, I don't plan on using transport pods, but uh, they couldn't hurt. So who is more hungry? NG is more hungry, so I'm going to have her drink the remainder of the milk. And I'm going to check the map uh, really quick just to make sure I didn't forget any, um, any meat or other food items out there. I don't think I have. I don't think I... That's consumable. These tribals didn't even bring, uh... Didn't even bring really anything. I'm gonna start disallowing them. They're just too far away. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't really forgotten anything. There is that chem fuel that I could, uh... I could deal with, but that's about it. Um, so actually, NG, I'm going to have you haul the chem fuel. Doc, because she's in such a good mood, she can consume the corn. I don't think corn is so bad to consume raw. Uh, minus seven? Yeah, oh well. She's in a plenty good mood, so it doesn't much matter. Uh, so if I want a multi-analyzer, I need to haul some more um, slag. So I think that's what I'll have NG do. And Doc, I suppose. Because it is getting a little bit warmer. It's negative 125, but that's actually enough that my um, plants don't... Um, my plants no longer uh, have issues with... Uh, with temperature, which is great. Uh, so NG, I want you to deconstruct that and create a switch. And then flick said switch. And the reason for that is um, the turret and everything is on one network, but now I can unpower this from a distance. Saved me a little bit of power. I figured I'd I'd give myself uh, that much. All right, don't eat raw, please. Just cook. So until I have some of this cooked, I'm just going to keep uh, docking that research closet. Now that I'm not feeding. Um, so many prisoners, it is easier to keep my people fed. So I should have a food surplus here pretty soon. I think. And remind Doc to eat. Haul the rest of this rice. I'm going to have Engie go to sleep a little early so she can get up and start growing. And I've got transport pod. Another good day under the sun. Or whatever the hell is shining overhead. Given that I'm generating almost no power from my solar generators, I suppose it's not really sun, but uh, my wind generators certainly are kicking out a bit, so I'm going to um, flick off my backup battery. That My primary batteries are full, so I don't need a backup battery uh, quite so bad. I'll have NG process the rest of the, this rice for meals, and then I want her growing. 
I should have been growing first, but uh, oh well. So, hauling that over and growing. Good. Soon Doc won't have anything left to research. I almost want to tell her not to research, and I think I will, only because research puts her in a good mood. So if I finish all the research I can do right now, uh, there's nothing I can ask her to do to put her back into a good mood. Uh, what are her other passions? Mining, there's nothing. Shooting, there's nothing to shoot at, really. And um, medicine, well, I'm not going to hurt myself to get her happy. That would be... That's just crazy talk. Uh, Alright, these are the last two bodies that I'm burying. I've made that executive decision, so... All you people will just... I mean, you came to attack me. I don't I don't owe you a nice burial. Um, and I don't think I really need the um, tribal junk that they're wearing so much. So... Open that. You weren't done with that body. What is Doc doing? Alright, Doc is standing here. Let's have her drop the spear, and because that was the last that I planned to bury, now I'm going to find what they're trying to interact with and just disallow it. Man, you guys really have an affinity for corpses. Alright, there we go. Back on slag. Uh, wait, where are you going with this body? Hall, uh, crap. It's totally not what... I didn't realize this was a corpse zone. So that was news to me. So, that was the last body Engie's going to bury. Let's switch weapons. Alright, so now they're just hauling slag, and I'm going to start smelting it down. I really want that multi-analyzer, as you can tell. That is a uh, priority of mine. Doc just got sick. That sucks. Yep, she wants to haul one more slag, and I'll let her. So the next project after the multi-analyzer will be to run an electrical line out to one of these lakes and start turning it into gravel, which, granted, is a little bit of an exploit, I'll admit. Um, or maybe actually hospital bed first. That will be the next thing, and then, and then the moisture pump. The hospital bed will help get rid of this uh, in a little pain and will speed NG up uh, because NG will get a bionic leg. I think I still have. No one's stolen for me. Yes, bionic leg. So she'll get one bionic leg, which I can only imagine wouldn't really help you walk until you had two, but whatever. So, Doc, I'm going to restrict back to home area so that she researches, and then I'll strip her down when she wakes up. I don't want to wake her early, if I can help it. Now my worry is if I install the pain stopper into Doc, uh, that she will uh, die. It's a procedure she won't survive from. That is a big worry of mine, and I've thought about that a lot, about what happens if, God forbid, she doesn't survive, because 
that would make this playthrough um, infinitely more difficult, for sure. It'd be really, really problematic. Um, but that's just a risk I have to be willing to take. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to, for for Doc's sake. Being immune to pain comes with its own perks, other perks as well. So there's that reason too. Because I'm so close to a multi-analyzer, I'm just going to send Doc out to go haul some slag. Help NG along. This is my second to last piece of slag that I'll need to haul for the multi-analyzer. I have... Anyone keeping track, I have yet to uh, receive a bulk goods in like a year. Um, I'm almost on year three. Uh, second of summer will be year three. And I think I will have only totaled one bulk goods trader in all that time. Now, I'm not saying that that's bad luck. Uh, simply because I have received ample uh, supply drops. Um giving me lots of other good stuff, but uh, uh, boy would I ever appreciate uh, a multi-analyzer. Or, god, a uh, yeah, bulk goods trader. I'm saying one thing, thinking another. Rare thrombos, well, uh, there's two of them, and they're both going to die of hypothermia, and I'm going to make myself a thrombo parka as soon as I have the metal. Alright, so now, Doc, flick that off. Oh. Plus, uh, the wonderful source of meat that they provide. Um, is that all the food I have? Yeah. So, I'm eating raw rice to to represent how dire my feeding situation is. I'm actually going to flick on the grow light early. I kind of forgot to yesterday. Because I am really bad at remembering those sort of menial, repetitive tasks. Both the thrombos are down. Um, and soon to be very, very dead. Alright, they're both dead. Doc is up and resting. Um, so let's get Doc to haul some thrumbo to the corpses. Now this I will change to call slag. Um, and I'm going to disallow corpses. Well, I'll allow mechanoids, I suppose, but disallow the rest of the corpses. Ooh, Doc, you had a meal left over. I didn't realize. Alright, Doc. Let's haul some thrombo horns. Ooh, that's some meat. That is some meat. And thrombo fur. I don't know if it has the same insulation properties as, uh, Muffalo wool and the and mega sloth wool, but that's not going to stop me from making a parka out of it. That's for sure. All right, so now I am got pretty much all the meat I need. So let's cook. Doc is hauling the last horn, and then I'll restrict her again. So let's restrict her movement. Shed her gear. And soon I'll have that multi-analyzer, which is nice. Super helpful. So the thrum thrumbos were uh, uh, a bit of a sweet thing to have happen. I'm just going to cook beyond the 10 that I had queued. 
I'm fine with that. Flick it off. Hall. Turn off the light. Build that multi analyzer. Oh, yeah. Tube television. All right, let's do IEDs. Now, a whole lot of, uh, of the research I've been doing, I obviously, obviously do not need. Um, but it keeps Doc happy, so, you know, that's kind of my chief motivation. Uh, I'm not sure. The stream is not going all that well, so I'll make sure not to uh, not to stream in the future. I'm just gonna gonna stop the stream now. Um, I hope it didn't mess up the recordings. So we'll see about that. And an eclipse. Well, an eclipse in the spring. All right, that's fine. Multi analyzer is coming along. Gonna let the All right, so haul some slag. Due to the multiple research benches, my power is uh, dwindling a little. I do have to be wary of that. As you can see, the batteries are getting drained. There's an eclipse with no wind, which is a very low power event. Uh, Doc has a bit of a mood, which I'll have to work to fix. And just because I have all this thrombo meat does not mean that I want to uh, neglect my farm. Making every single uh, thrombo meat I have into fine meals would benefit me a lot more obviously, so that is in fact a goal of mine. 
Wind is picking back up, which is very nice. Now I've decided to go with a hand tailor, um, just to save resources. I don't need speed, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, some other production that I want done eventually is a, ref uh, a drug lab, which requires some some steel uh, and wood. So now I can hand tailor, and I will hand tailor a parka. Got a thrombo fur. That's incredible. But I'll let her go to sleep. She's stressed. And wearing a dead man's armor vest. Which, I don't know why she keeps putting on. There really needs to be a way to restrict uh, dead people gear. Other than just forbidding it. So Doc, you are hauling... I'll let her haul one slag and then I'll put her back to research. For mood purposes. But also want, and I meant to, but I want her to flick the uh, sun lamp back on. So I am about 50 minutes in. Uh, come up on uh, the mid spring, which is nice. Oh, man, I flicked that light with, like, almost nothing left to do during the day. So, Doc, I'm going to restrict and strip like usual. And she's going to build some snowmen, I suppose. And play some horseshoes. All very nice things, but in the end, a wee bit unproductive. Now it's getting warmer and sunnier. Not that these power generators are all that useful, but better than nothing. Now, I think because I have a hand tailor, um, I craft slower, but that probably means I level up more. So in a way, it's nice that I didn't go electric. A whole lot of work to make that into a parka. Some cargo pods of cloth. That's pretty sweet. I can carpet a little bit more, I guess. Not sure what I will carpet, but at least I have the option. I wouldn't mind a dining room and a rec room, but... At the moment, don't really have the resources for either. Now, if I had a little bit more steel, I could, you know, at the very least, um... Huh. At the very least, I could, uh, create a room. Now, it wouldn't be heated, but I could create a room maybe here and there, uh, that would satisfy their needs.
Doc is just happy researching away to the point where she's hungry, which is funny to me. Well, Angie snoozes. It's about to get up. But snoozes away. About to finish up this parka. I do hope it's not crap. It's shoddy. Let's see its thermal properties. It is not as insulating as uh, as I had hoped. Um, I mean, I could have looked it up, but uh, you know that's what I decided to do. So instead, I'm going to make some button-down shirts with the uh, thrumble fur. Nope. Alright, so let's say, let's be specific. I want it out of I just wasted a whole lot of wool because she wouldn't listen to me initially. And we have a raid from more tribesmen. Well, tribesmen, uh, do be a deer and buzz off. I guess I'll get ready anyway. Ooh, that was a near hit. One of them wants to set the base on fire, but the rest of them are going to come into my kill zone. They are surprisingly well insulated from the cold. They haven't collapsed yet. Angie took a torso hit. Two torso hits. I'm gonna back her up. And now they're fleeing. I'm gonna try to capture as many as I can. Doc immediately on patching them up. Making sure I'm getting the more immediate one, and I am. Who is a severe illness? Oh. What's your severe illness? I didn't mean to strip him. That was a mistake. Extreme hypothermia. I meant to treat him, not strip him. <laughs> Alright, so let's strip down the rest of these tribe. Oh. Strip you. Strip 
you strip, strip, strip. There's a whole lot of people that died here. And I'm not entirely sure I have all the space for their stuff. And then NG, go rest. So you're not tripping blood all over the place. I'm going to treat NG. Should be pretty fast. She only took two hits. And that gets her back in the game. And I'm going to have her start cleaning up all this blood everywhere. Doc, I'm sure there are people left to treat. Wow, he's barely... He must have went down from Frostbite, because he is doesn't have a lot of issues. Alright, so I've come up on just about an hour here, and uh, I think I'm going to call it. Um, so I have three new prisoners, I'm headed into the summer, which is nice, uh, and I survived a sizable tribal raid and got some other things done, like a multi-analyzer, so on and so forth. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you tune in next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.